Good morning, welcome to Table Talk. I am happy to have you with us this morning. I'm Sandy from Pine Needles in West Jordan, Utah. And with me is my friend Shannon. Good morning. Good morning. Um, yeah, I had kind of a hard wake up this morning. It's like supposed to- A little rough. Yeah, leave at 8.30 and I wake up and look over and I'm like, the sun's shining, what's going on? What time is it? It was 10 after eight. Uh, do you, I wake up in the morning, do you do the thing where I wake up and I'm like, what day is it? And do I need to be worried about yeah. what time it is? Yeah. Because yes, I do that. Yeah. I don't usually set an alarm because I just wake up. Yeah. But Kathy was going to pick me up today um, at 8.30. And so I set my alarm. But like, I'm always up plenty of time. I But this morning, man, I had a, I must have been sleeping. You were partying down. too much over the weekend, apparently. Oh, yes. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So did you have a nice Easter weekend? I did. <clears throat> I did. I still am. You've still got, got the, the bamboo. Yeah. And um, I told Nicole I would buy her an Easter dress. She's yeah. the only one at home, you yeah. know. So, And she's so sweet. She's like, she Mom, is. you don't have to. And I'm like, no, let's go get you an Easter dress. I forget, though. And Nicole does not like to shop. Yeah, I'm not she's not a shopper. She prefers if I just buy something or uh -huh. if I go and stake things out and then take her back to the store. She knows that I'm, she might be interested in something. So that's you having to shop twice. And yeah. So I and I didn't have time because I didn't. Yeah. I haven't felt well. So I took her to the mall. She's so picky, which is fine. So Nicole, her whole life has just been very, very modest. Uh huh very modest which is fine mm -hmm. i mean when we went to china she was probably she was like middle school age and i packed some shorts that hit her mid thigh mm -hmm. and she pulled them out when we were in china she's like i can't wear these these are like daisy dukes i'm like no <laughs> they're not they're not they're not they're not but but she like she'll go in and the 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 sales associate uh -huh. would say, you know, what are you looking for? And she's like, well, I want a dress, but it has to have a sleeve. It has to come below my knee. It has to, she's yeah. like, when I bend over, I don't, don't want to flash anybody. Pants. So, I mean, we found stuff that was mm -hmm. cute, but it didn't meet all of her criteria. So yeah. it took us the best part of a day to find an Easter dress. Find an Easter dress. <laughs> I was kind of done by the time we found an Easter dress. Yeah. Stopped at Cafe Rio. There you go. Got dinner. Do you remember Kathy when on. we were little and getting... For Easter, we'd get like a little handbag, a little Easter. Yes, and I always had and gloves. And a little bonnet and gloves. Yes. Yes. A little yeah. white shoes. Yep. 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 Absolutely. And my aunt always made my Easter dress. Yeah. I don't, I'm not going to make clothes. No, I don't yeah. make clothes. Yeah, yeah it's fine. So. And Nicole did look online because I would say, do you want to go yeah. here? No, I looked online already. They don't have anything online. I saw a funny thing on um, Facebook where it was like Easter then, <coughs> Easter now. <coughs> It was like Easter in the 80s. It showed an Easter basket with like a chocolate mm -hmm. bunny in it and like two other things, you know. Mm -hmm. Here, happy Easter. And then it was like Easter now. And it was the outfit and the tablet and the, yeah. you know, all the different goods. Scooters. And, and it's and like Christmas in a Easter basket, yeah. you know. And it's like, yeah, that's true. We really overdo. We always got, I always got bubbles and like sunglasses. Yeah. yeah. I bought my granddaughters um, a swimsuit and some sunglasses. Yeah. That's, so I did get them something for Easter. But yeah. I don't know. You went to Holly's, didn't you? I did. Yeah. I went to my sister Holly's for dinner. How there was, was that? there was a crowd. There was a lot of us. A lot of, and did Kathy have to bring the drinks? Yes. Kathy brought drinks. Well, I was supposed to, but then my son wanted to. So I so brought dessert. deferred to the son. Oh, oh, you did? What dessert did you bring? Did you bake? Um, uh, of course not. Oh, oh. You picked it up. I went to Carol's Bakery and got Oh, that's right. You and, bought the brownies and the eclairs. And the eclairs. And Carol's Bakery. Oh, well, that's, that's I'll, all right. I'll go with that every time. I had the very difficult assignment. Chips? Jello. Oh, Jello. Yes. So oh. I could say I did cook. I boiled the... the yeah, you had to boil water uh -huh. to make the Jello. And, and I don't like sludge in the bottom of my Jello. Yeah. I don't Do you know either. what I'm talking yeah. about? That... Yeah. So I always boil my Jello in the pan with the water for just, to really dissolve. Because I want it dissolved. Because I don't know if you've ever had Jello with sludge the sludge on the bottom. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Gives me the willies. So anyway, I did make my Jello. Well, you did good too. Oh, and then I was in charge of. I had said when they set up the signs, I'll do the Easter egg hunt. Oh, oh because that's I have little Leo, and. 
there's not very many little ones that were going to be there. So yeah. I'm like, I'll throw together some eggs. Yeah. But then my sister Elise is like, I'll do, I've got 60 eggs filled and ready. And I'm like, 60 eggs? There's only going like to be five many? kids, you yeah. know? Um, and then my sister-in-law brought eggs. Lisa brought eggs filled with stuff. And I had gone the night before because, you know, I'm all last minute Lucy. I'd gone to Target the night before to get my plastic eggs. Not a plastic egg in the Target. Oh, you're Not kidding. Not one plastic egg. I'm sorry. It looked like a bomb had gone off oh in Target. Oh, my gosh. I went to the kids' clothing area wow. to see if I could find a little short set for Leo. You yeah. Know? And I was like, holy cow. Is it Black Friday or something? I mean, that place was a disaster. Oh. And I've never seen it like no. that. Yeah, not any. So I bought some little, you know, wrapped candies and stuff that right. that I could just put out. But we had so many eggs. I'm like, here, Kaylee, take home the Here's the candy. treats because. So like, last year, I went to Michael's right after Easter. Uh -huh. They had a ton of eggs. So I uh -huh. bought a bunch last year because yeah. they were on clearance. Yeah. But then I didn't feel great and it was rainy, so yeah. I didn't even do an egg hunt. Yeah. We hurried the kids out to do it while it wasn't raining. The five minutes of no yeah, rain. Yeah. And they loved it. You know, kids love the. Yeah. Every, it seems like they, they love it. Well, like we always just kind of did a hunt on Easter, but now yeah. it's like, you know, Ariel had already taken the kids to like six Easter egg hunts. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, the novelty had kind it's of worn off. off. Yeah. And last year, Erica did an egg hunt for um, Anila and Nova. And so she had little eggs that had dog treats in them. Oh. And Nova knew exactly which ones, which ones were, had the dog were hers. Yeah. yeah, She'd pick them up and drop them in the basket. Oh, yeah. It's fun. It's always fun to see the littles get excited. <coughs> it another is. Another one, another one. <laughs> so yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Nyla just likes to play. I have a little game called uh, Go Away Monster. Oh. And you've just, it's like a little bedroom. And then you draw out of a bag a... Uh, a bed, it was a bed, a lamp, a pitcher, and a teddy bear. You try to complete your little room. Okay. And then there are monsters in oh. there too. And if you get a monster, you say, go away monster and put it back. And she loves that little game. So oh, whenever funny. we're done eating, she always says, Nana, you play go away monster. Oh, that's fun. So then that's I get fun. out of dishes. Cause um, I get to play. And I did some finishing this weekend. I'm going to say I came in and there was like this ball of finished product. I was so impressed. Yeah, so it's so cute. This is the book, The 12 Monthly Minis by Primrose Cottage. And so cute. They're all done. Well, so and I like Kat did the stitching, so I did the <coughs> easy part. Well, I like how it's just basic. I mean, yeah. you didn't do anything foo foo nope. or anything with it. You just nope. sewed a back on. Yep. In fact, you even okay. just did so, the. <laughs> we will have kits in the store that have the squares for the back and the stitching fabric. Okay. Right. These squares are like, I don't know, it's like a five inch square, which you don't need the five inches. So what I did was I cut the square in half. Yeah. So I had two, two and a half by five inch pieces. Yeah. Then I sewed the two pieces back together, leaving an opening. Oh. So there's a seam right here yeah. and I left an opening here so that I could just sew all turn the way it. around, yeah. turn it and stuff through that opening and then sewed that close. Which I think is a good idea because, with these because they're so small. Yeah, and, and then I didn't have to worry about trying to, yeah. Making sure my seam, you know. And <coughs> if you this do, one I didn't. That I would one say I if you don't like a seam, you know, we've yeah. shown before where you can put like a little heart patch yeah, or something, something on like there. That. You know, you but, can do that. Yeah, instead. so there's that's how I finished them all and they were just so easy. So, they're so cute. Yeah, the designs on them are so cute. When Heidi saw, I showed her the ones Pat had stitched, and I'm like, oh, I gotta get these finished. And she's like, okay. Saw the book, thought they were cute. Now I saw the stitching, and I she's know. like, okay, I have to have it. So she it's went and really got that. Cute. Yeah. So Anna has um, cut, so there's different fabrics that coordinate with the front, you know. Mm -hmm. And so we have the little packs of, of the variety of fabrics for the back. This one has little strawberries and on it. Are you gonna have the fabric for the front to uh -huh. the stitching fabric? Yeah, we'll have the, the stitching fabric oh, nice. and the packs. So you so. just have to buy your floss. Yeah, you need your floss Very and nice. the book. And yeah. are we get, we've had a theft problem in the store. I know, we have. It's been really, really bad. It's so been disheartening. Sandy's tried to move some yeah. of our stuff to the front. Yeah, so I think this will probably be kept at the register area because yeah. they are a little easy to so if you come in and our register looks a little overflowing, that's why. That's why. Because, because we've had a theft problem. Yeah, we've lost a lot so. of stuff lately. And 
Losing products, one thing. <clears throat> losing samples that someone has worked hard on. Yeah. That's another thing altogether. It makes yeah. me so sad. Yeah. So. Those are so cute. So, yeah. we And... <clears throat> We don't have a lot of these books, but you've um, ordered I've more. ordered a whole bunch more. So they um, should So be I'm here. hoping that they get here today because I got the invoice last week, paid it immediately so that, and they just it would come, come from St. George. So I think they okay. should be coming. So oh, if you look on the website. Primrose Cottage in St. George? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize. So if you work. look on the website and this show's sold out, check the next day because these will be arriving any day. Right. Um, we bought a bunch at, at market, but had no idea how fast they would go. Oh, and so I just placed another order with them, so we should be eating more of the same. <coughs> what else did I finish? Oh, They're so cute. Finally, finally. Well, these have been selling without you having I finished know. them. So I finally finished my little wool. wool um, these are called Bowl Filler Buddies. They're so cute. And I know Easter is over, but spring. I think you can leave them out. And I just is, feel like in you April, know. you can leave yep. Easter out exactly. for the whole month of April. So got them finished. Was happy about that. Finally, you know, because I lost... Did you have to recut? Because I'd lost my little legs of my lamb and his little ear, but I just recut them and finished those up, so. And before you put turn that away, yeah. we have people come in all the time. Sandy will use these little <laughs> fabric pieces that we cut off when we make fat quarters, like kind of as Easter grass. Yeah. And I cannot tell you how many people will ask to yeah. buy those so they can use them for Easter grass. So funny thing is someone saw... <clears throat> saw him one time i can't remember where they saw him and i got a call from studio five. Oh yeah last year was it last year that's right saying, will you come and show us how you make your fabric easter grass yeah and i was like oh yeah uh -huh. but <laughs> well and it's so fun yeah that i forgot you so so, so yeah so those of you who aren't local studio five is a local news station yeah. and they do kind of a little morning show and sandy had to go in and show how to make fabric, fabric easter, easter grass, grass. <laughs> So that's kind of funny. Um, I, Shelly <coughs> had a couple of cute finishes. Shelly just walked in, so. Um, this is adorable. And these are so cute. So these little, this is the dog set. Now, there are two, on the panel, there's the dogs, the clothing, the little baby dogs cute. that fit in her little skirt. Shelly's got them pinned in there so that I can't pull them out, but they do come out of the little pockets. They're pinned in there, so, so we've talked about the theft problem. Yeah. Um, and if you come in to see these, these are in our little kids area. They're tied up and attached so that they don't walk away. But we have a problem, so especially with my granddaughter. Oh, <laughs> she likes to walk around, and she named well, them it, Sam and Rosie, I think. <laughs> the other dogs we yeah, have. She's so named them. Yeah, oh yes. Upstairs. Yeah, I and Ar Ariel did not want to draw attention to them, so she left them upstairs. Yeah. So these are, this is the dog set, but there's a panel that has the kitties. Oh, so, dogs same thing, and kitties. But you know, a little dress, the coloring's <laughs> different. It's more pinks and greens and stuff, but so um, it's a kitty panel. Was it hard to do, Shelly? No. Okay. No, no it's so simple. And so, so then Shelly finished another one, and I don't have all the little critters here, Oh. but this is Noah's Ark. So cute. And it's got all the little animals. It's really cute. Camels, giraffes. Oh, I like how it says the name. Yeah, it says camel on the back. You've got monkeys and elephants, and you've got little Mr. and Mrs. Noah. So cute. In the pocket on the outside, and then it's just got the little arc. Just to hold the little. Yeah, in. and these are just some of the animals. Um, Shelly had a wedding. She was. Uh, her son got married. Her son got married, and so. You know, that takes precedence over stuffing the, the elephants, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah she kind of so, needed to do that. But super cute, super cute little panel. And that is called Arc Panel Noah. Arc Panel Noah. Yeah. And it just, all those things are on, with the instructions are on. Shelly is also you know. expecting two grandchildren. Yes. So maybe that's why she's so maybe kind that's of in why this she's mode. Doing little, yeah. yeah, she's doing all Kid the little things. things. Lately. Yeah, that could be. Um, this is one I didn't quite finish, but I'm working on. That's okay. cute. We've got these in, and I'm going to open this up. Oh. Because. So this is, we um, ordered these at. Nashville market, but they had sold out at market. So she sent, we've recently got these. This is the home needle case by 
shepherd's bush. And it comes with the linen, the trim, the beads, needles to do your oh, stitching, cute. needles to put the beads on, um, little tiny miniature buttons and a snap, wool um, piece. Everything is in that kit for the most beautiful little needle case. That's cute. So, and that is called home needle case. So we got those in. This is called calm, Stitching Calms the Soul. And I wanted to show you because, <clears throat> Again, it comes with your flosses, your needles, little buttons, your smaller needle for attaching the buttons, your larger needle for doing your cross stitch, and it comes with the pre sewn. Oh, nice! Yeah. Oh, so that's, that's so cute. cute. So it's got the stitching area around it, and really it's just a little cute. stitching bag, all pre sewn. Cute. So, so you can put your floss and your yeah, needles and just, stuff in there. Yeah. And all of that comes in your little kit. So you just do your stitching <clears> and you're done. <throat> which, that's a fast finish. Kind of reminds finish. me of your pre sewn things yeah. that you do. I like something that you can just be done with. And you don't yeah. have to figure out what frame are you going to use. And, you know, all that. <clears throat> so that's fun. That's really cute. And this one, Kathy's going to stitch. This is called All Manner of Thing. Oh, cute. And it is beautiful. And the pattern does not do it justice because when we saw it stitched up, it was really beautiful. Comes with your linen, all your threads, your needle, your uh, oh, floss card. Yeah. Um, cute. To do the project. So it is not an inexpensive kit, but it's got these just beautiful threads. Looks like there's a ribbon or something in there. It, yeah. So <clears> just, <throat> oh, and again, needles, buttons, everything. Shepherd's Bush always yeah. gives you needles. Yeah, which is nice. <coughs> so if you're like, want to take a grab and go project for a little trip or something, this oh, would yeah. be a great little that would be. throw in your bag mm -hmm. project to do. Yep, definitely. So, um, well, either this one would be as well. Yeah, cute. That's done. We will be having a giveaway. Yes. So watch Do, till the end. Will you talk about the things behind us so that I don't have 50 million oh, emails? Okay. Let's see. Behind us, the red and white quilt is Primrose. Um, we have a couple of kits left of that. Um, I don't know what else will show in the view. The Does the house quilt, Kathy? And that one is called? Blended Together? Blended Together. Yes. That quilt. So the... You don't see the other one. Do you see this one right the here? Box the kit. flag kit. Mm -hmm. and that is the box kit from Riley Blake, and that is called Heartland. Heartland. I think so. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Address the things in the background because someone I will know, usually because ask I, what they are. Which you can see part of. Which one? The quilted witch. You oh, see quilted part witch. Of. And I think we have two kits left mm. of quilted witch. We sold two the other day. And the same day, and I think it left us with. I thought we had like five or something. <clears throat> I, I know it didn't leave us with very many. Shelly, can you look that up for me? The Quilted Witch. We see. had a ton of those. So. But they've sold, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> there was a couple of new <coughs> cross stitch patterns <coughs> that came in from Lila's studio. These are new since Nashville. This is cute. called Happy Bee Day. Oh, cute. Isn't that cute? Oh, okay. More than we thought. Yeah, more than we thought. But. Okay, and then this one is Be Your Best Self. So cute. And these are really cute. And again, these are from Lila's studio. Those are new in. We have a new quilt in the store from that uh, Michelle Schwenemann made. And this pattern is called Holiday. It's by Minikin Simpson. Oh, okay. The pattern shows it done in blues, and we have done it in red. In red. Isn't that pretty? And this was done using Riley Blake's collection, which is just right behind us. Do you remember what the name of it was? I think it's Heirloom Red. Heirloom Red? Yeah. Heirloom Red. So, just really beautiful quilt. Um, it's really pretty. Yeah. <clears throat> So Michelle finished that, and we will have kits for that in the store. Um, I do have a little special going on while they last. The um, triangles on a roll from oh. It's So Emma are on sale for $7.
They are normally up to $14.95. Oh, nice. So we've got um, a basket full of those. Looks like different sizes. Yep, all different sizes. So if you look up triangles on a roll or under notions, if you go to sale and look at notions, these will be nice. on there. So we also had her 12 inch foundation paper piecing packs on sale. Um, but I believe they've almost all sold out. So oh. um, check our Notion sale. I'm constantly adding. You are. You have a little baskets around the store of all yeah. kinds of stuff. Yeah. I just am like run my reports, do my thing, mark <clears throat> sale. And so. And sometimes Sandy gets the bug and just wants things to go away. I just sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm like, I'm tired of looking at that. Yeah. It yeah. needs to go away. Let's do. Let's move something else in and get yeah. rid of this. Because, um, yeah, I came in this morning and looked behind the cutting table. <gasps> so much fabric. And we always have a lot of fabric. We had it gone. We had but... it all. Like, I was so proud. We had found a place for everything, everything in its place. Now you've got more. Yeah. Now we've got more. Well, and we're not that far off from when the Christmas stuff will start oh, arriving. I know. I said to Kathy, oh my gosh. Halloween will come in in when does Halloween fabric? It starts this month. Starts this month. In oh April. yeah, it's April. Christmas yep. starts May. And then in yeah. May, Christmas, Christmas fabrics will come. Yeah. We're not that far away. We're not that far away. Yeah. So, so. watch anyway. for <clears throat> information on Shop Hop coming up. Watch for some specials that we have that we'll be doing on our um, clearance fabrics. I'm going to be doing another big special that'll go for a couple days on that. Oh, because I need, you need to, room. I need room. <laughs> you need to move stuff out. So I'm willing to just give it away. When <clears throat> I need some room. So, um, and then I wanted to mention too, I'm so, so sorry for last week's video. We had kind of a mess. Ariel posted it. Uh -huh. And then I went on and I was watching it and it like just cut off. So I texted Ariel and... She's like, oh, I don't know what happened. I'll look at it when I get home. She was with the girls somewhere. Yeah. And uh, her computer just said it was full of store. It was out of storage, which that has happened mm -hmm. with Erica. So Erica tried to help her over the phone and it didn't work. And so Jason was trying to help her over the phone. And she, and so she, and she pulled the video down because yeah. it was, yeah. we had a lot of jibber jabber last week. We had a yes. lot of jibber jabber. Yeah, we did. <laughs> and, uh, so Jason and I ended up driving to Ariel's house last week and he filled with it and he was able to do it. Sometimes he just needs to do it, you know, because he knows what he's doing. <laughs> we just need him to do it. And we always say too that the computer senses, you know, our fear that this yeah. isn't working. And then he comes in and says, then, and they're like, and the computer knows that he means business yeah. and it works. <laughs> so yeah. he fixed it all for her and yeah, but it was... And Eric had all, had had the same problem yeah. too because Those for some happen. reason uh, we're all part of the orchard. My whole family we're all yep. orchard members, and you tell it to delete something on our orchard computers, and uh, it doesn't really believe you. Yeah, and it likes to store it somewhere so, no, else. No, I don't think you want. It. I, yeah, I really think you're going to want this later. Yeah, yeah, you might want that. Anyway, so Jason, you had given me an external hard drive, and I'd forgotten about it. So he kind of got her set up. We're going to yeah. try that and see if it's better. So I'm so sorry. We she finally got it. It took us a while to get it figured oh, out. Oh, Ariel's good. It took the whole family to get it to fix. <laughs> what do we do without the green band? Uh, the whole family was involved, <laughs> except for Nicole. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm so sorry we got it all fixed, and, yeah. and I'm so sorry. I just felt like, yeah, well, and, I, and w they basically got to see all of our jibber jabber. Yeah, that's by the time you thought. started Aww. talking about. Sorry stuff. about that, folks. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I'm that's so right. sorry about all the jibber jabber last week. We have a new collection that came in, and I, I think we talked about the pre-cuts last time, which is Shoreline. Is that what yes, it's called? Yes, and I've had people coming in and asking yeah. that. So Shoreline, <clears throat> we had behind the register. I mean, behind the cutting table, in package, you know, still with the, fat the cellophane around it, waiting for us to open it up and cut fat quarters and get it put out. And we were selling it, like, people yeah. were coming behind the cutting table wanting to get that. So we do have Shoreline in. There is, are there a couple that we've already sold out of, Kathy? Mm -hmm. Like, we had not taken the cellophane off, and we sold a, a couple of bolts of it gone already. 
So I know people were waiting for it because yeah, the little really, bit I'm in the store, yeah. every time I was here, somebody was asking for yeah. it. It's, it's a good one. So we do still have some pre-cuts left of that and we have that collection. So um, should we talk about our giveaway last week? Yes. Last week we gave away... It was that little pouch. Oh yeah, the little pouch with the, with the mini, mini charm. Yeah. yeah. And um, the question, question was, how close is your local New yeah. York store or quilt store? I w you know, I was really surprised in reading them, all of the comments, that people had like a quilt store close, uh -huh. but a needle workshop was really far away. Really? And I, I guess I just kind of always assume, because we do both, yeah. that people do both, but yeah. they don't. Mm -hmm. Not everybody does that. So, um, yeah, we're lucky because we can just, we're one-stop shop. Yep, one-stop shop. So, yeah, so, um, but there were a lot of people that said, oh, it takes me 10 minutes to get to pine needles. Oh, how nice. Yeah. <laughs> Good. A lot of people, we got, it takes me 10 minutes to get to my favorite store. So that's it was very sweet. We have a lot of local people that watch us. But then um, we did have several people that mm. it takes several hours to get. Oh. So a lot of them yeah. say, you know, that I, I'm amazed too at how many people say we did have a local needle workshop and then it closed. So now, yeah. you know, they do online shopping. So I don't know if that was a... A COVID thing? I would think not because I feel like cross stitch got so cross -stitch busy. Got so big during during COVID. COVID. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but you know, a lot of stores, you know, people age out. Like I'm eventually going to age out of this business. Yeah. I'm going to be like, I am tired. You're not going to pass it down to Kaylee. And I'm Kaylee doesn't want this. She's just going to pass it down to you. <clears throat> I keep asking you. Do you want to buy a quilt store? Uh, Nyla might. <laughs> Yeah, Nyla does like to play pine needles. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. might. Um, but I think that that happened. It happens with cross stitch stores. Maybe the person has owned it for a number of years, and then they're just like, well, that's ready kind to of retire. what happened with Craft Center. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. just ready to retire. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> no panicking. I'm not retiring soon. I like I said, I signed a five year lease recently. So. I know I'm here for five more years. Five more years at least. We take it kind of in those chunks. When we first started in the village, it was you signed three year leases. Oh, no. no, did you? And then after, you know, when you've been here 27, they're just like, just do five years now, you know, because yeah. it just, yeah. So. Yeah, because this store, I remember coming into this store before we bought it. Yeah. Or before we leased it. And it was, uh, they had pictures in mm -hmm. here. It was. Kind of an art gallery. An art thing. gallery. And then it was a Western store. Oh, that's right. I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. And then now it's been us for a while. I don't even know how many years we've been in this location, but. We've been here for a while. Yeah, we've been in here. How many years, Shelly? In, in this year? In this building. I don't know. I don't know, probably eight or nine. Oh, I think it's even been. I think it's more than that. I think it's probably like about 10 years, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. nine or 10. Because I've signed a couple of years since <coughs> I've gotten this space, so. And yeah. well, and Holly was still here. When well, we yeah, I was trying to remember because I talked yeah. to Holly about it the other day when I saw her. Yeah. She was, I, I thought she said like eight or nine. So yeah. There. So we've it's, been here a while. Been We're a while. not going anywhere. Yeah. The phone's been really ringing been a lot ringing today. today. Yes. Anyway, <coughs> we so, did have a question <laughs> um, on this YouTube video or Flosta video, and somebody asked if we would ever surge the linen or the right. ada that they bought to do stitcheries on like because craft center craft did that center always did that yeah and if i'm here i am happy to do that the serger is up in my office um and so i'll run upstairs and and search for someone so if i'm here i'm happy to do that i don't have it set up right now in a convenient location for the when I've got two employees working the floor right. for them to leave the floor to go up and do that but I'm right. happy to do it if I'm here and hope to get that at some point so that we can just have it down on the main floor and have available That's to the rest to the employees but um because that is a nice yeah a nice thing so um <coughs> I, I have bought stuff you know, mm -hmm. cross stitch stuff, and you just zip around it, and yep. <clears throat> not a big deal. Yeah. And if you don't see Sandy on the floor, you can ask. Yeah, you can ask because I definitely ask. And usually upstairs. Yeah. So very rarely is she not here. Yeah. We're still waiting for her to get the call that Kathy and I have had, so you so know I can she might be sick. Off. Well, and poor <coughs> Wendy, is one of our employees, Wendy, she's been out. She's been for, sick for a long time. Sick for a long time. I'm worried about Wendy, so we need to. She has been sick for a long time. Figure out what's going on. So. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, but you can't be sick because because uh, shop hop's coming up. I can't get shop hop's yeah. coming up, and next week is what's next? Bitty week? Bitty Bowl. Oh yeah, no, I can't be sick. Randy asked last night. 
if we were going to need him again. And we said, oh, yes, we yeah. will be needing you because Kathy will be on a beach. Kathy will be having a good time. And it'll just be you and I. Yeah. Yes. So we will need Randy. So that'll be good. Yeah. Um, our winner <coughs> from last week was... I'm going to let you read it because okay. I'm having a hard time okay. with this top one here. So our winner is Sally <coughs> Dixon, 3076. And she has said... I have a couple of quilt shops about 30 minutes away and a new cross stitch shop an hour away. I'm excited to have a cross stitch shop that I can go to now. Awesome. I like that. A new cross stitch shop. Yeah. That's so nice. that's cool. So Sally Dixon, if you will email us at contact us at Pine Needles Online or just go to our website, pineneedlesonline.com. There's a link. You can just contact us and let <coughs> Shannon know where to send your prize. Yeah. This week we will be giving away... This, oh, we should grab the sample. This little um, door banner kit, and it is called Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yep, Happy Easter door <clears throat> banner, and this box kit from Riley Blake. So our question this week is, why can I not? Oh, what did you do for Easter? Let us know what you did. We talked about our little Easter activities, and yeah, so. We had our traditional ham and cheesy potatoes. Yes. Or as we call them here, <coughs> funeral, funeral potatoes. potatoes. Yeah. I um, had ham. I didn't do cheesy potatoes. I, I did twice potatoes. baked potatoes. I oh, felt, I like twice baked potatoes. I feel like Easter dinner is like the easiest holiday it is. meal to yeah. make. Yeah. It's. I know my mom felt bad. She's like, you don't feel good. I'm like, it's so easy to make it's so Easter easy dinner. Throw a ham in. Yeah. It's like it's fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. So, um, let us know what you did for Easter <clears throat> and a comment, and we will just randomly draw a winner. Yes. Sally Dixon, 30, 70, whatever six, it was, six. I, I don't remember. Make sure you send Shannon a note. I know her name is Sally Dixon because yeah. she's ordered from us before. Oh, okay. Cool. <coughs> so we will um, send you your cute package and make a comment to win this week's. Must be 18 years or older. Yes. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. <laughs>